This is from iHeartRadio, and this is a live version of Perfect by Ed Sheeran. This is an excellent version. This song is played finger style, and for the most part, you're going to be using the claw fingering. You're going to hit bass notes and upper extensions of the chords. Your chord list is going to be G, and we're going to do old school G at first. And then we're going to do a C, we're going to do an E minor, we're going to do a D, and that's pretty much it. Now this is more of a 50s type progression, so it's going to have that 1, 6, 4, 5 feel to it, meaning 1, 6, 4, 5, meaning G is 1, E minor is 6, C is 4, and D is 5. Ed plays a really cool little intro part, which actually comes back later during an interlude, so I'm going to show you that first. Ed goes through it two times during the intros he prepares to begin the song. So that's all there is to it. It's play your G like I said before old school so that you're over to the left and you can use a second finger to hammer on that second fret of string four while you're playing the third string and then it goes up to this partial C chord then we go to the verse So that's the first time through. Just like that. And then E minor. And then jump up to a D. So let me do that E minor to D again. Then we're gonna go to C add nine. He closes up the second string. The first three and a half measures, the second string is open. When he goes to C, he's going to close up the second string with his fourth finger. Just like that. Then D. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Because we are in six, eight times. So if you think the pulse being one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me go through that verse. That's the first half. The second half he's gonna chill down a little bit and it's gonna be the second string will be closed up pretty much for the rest of the song, for the most part. Let's go to the second half of the verse. At the end of the second half, you see it goes to single notes because we are going to enter the pre-chorus. So let me go over that. F sharp in a bass, E minor with this D held down. Check out what happens during the E minor. And during the D. leave your pinky down.
That's pretty cool. Pre-chorus, G again. C at nine. C at nine. So what Ed does there is throws a little fast lick in there. Slowly. Then it moves on to the second half of the pre-chorus. It stays pretty plain. And then we go to the chorus. 